This is Hominid Origins, Part 2 for the Rise of Civilization. Another contender is Artipithecus, also known as Arti. 4.4 million years old, found in Ethiopia. Now, originally found in the early 1990s, they only found some teeth and a few other bones. But again, it's 4.4 million years old. And they found 17 di different specimens. Now, the cool thing is that in 2010, they found another specimen of Artipithecus. This is who was actually dubbed Arti, A-R-D-I. It's a 4 million year old woman. Kind of cool. There's a picture of her. Was Arti the first hominid? Well, this is kind of interesting because it's this specimen is older than the Australopithecines. You have Lucy on the left, Arti on the right. Very different looking. And there's some speculation. I don't want to get into it too much because the verdict is still out. We don't have a lot to go on. So they're still working this out. I did put a video on Blackboard for you to look at. Where they found Artipithecus was very close to Hadar, Ethiopia, where Lucy and the first family were found. So here are those earlier remains. And then, like I said, they have since found Arti. OK. So at this stage of the game, we're primarily looking at teeth and limb bones, if we can find them. So what you see in this diagram is the dental arcade of an ape, which is on top, the dental arcade of a human on the bottom. So the apes is shaped more like a U. I, I like to think of it more as even more square-like. What you see here is you have a diastema, which is a space in between the canines and the incisors, and of course much more pronounced canines. There's actually a difference in the size of molars. With apes, you have five cusps humans you have four so again there is a big difference and here you can see of course with humans the the diastema is not there as well as the reduced canines here's another picture of an actual chimp versus human so see the differences in the cusps and in the um, just the overall dental arcade. Here's So the point and the reason why I'm showing you all this is this is how they can tell the difference. Is it ape? Is it human? So for our purposes, who we're going to consider the first hominid is Australopithecus. Lucy. Now, the pictures that you're going to see for this segment are from a Discovery Channel show called War Walking with Cavemen. Somebody gave me the, the companion book. The costumes are horrible. So did Lucy really look like that? Well, maybe, but I'll show you what we do know. Okay, so what is the most important thing that we see with Australopithecines that we've never seen before. And this is what you need to remember, OK? And the answer is bipedalism, walking upright. So this is why, if you look at the range of dates between 5.3 and 1.6 million years ago, that's why we don't call it absolute dating anymore with radiocarbon. We call it chronometric because we get such wide ranges. 
but you can see more of a savanna type environment, less trees. What did Lucy look like? What you're seeing is in the background, you're seeing a modern homo sapien, a modern human. To the left, what you're seeing is a pygmy chimp or a bonobo. On the right, you're seeing Lucy or the Australopithecus. What we know is that from the waist up, Lucy looked like a chimp. No one's disputing this. But it was the pelvis that really indicated bipedalism. So if you look at the bonobo pelvis, it's vertical. That's what you see in quadrupeds, animals that walk on all fours. We, as humans, because we're bipedal, our pelvis is more horizontal. With Australopithecus, you could also see an intermediate step between an ape's dentition and a human's d dentition. So you had reduced canines. The canines were still there. You had a diastema, but it was not nearly as pronounced. So what we know is this is where we get into the sexual dimorphism. Males were about 3'5", females 3 foot, small brain, no real tools, and what you're seeing is the actual bones that were found of Lucy versus this TV version of what she might have looked like next to it. There used to be an internet site called the Lucy Test. It was actually put on, on the internet by creationists. But what they would do is they would give you the picture of a dental arcade, let's say of a human, a chimp, a baboon, and an Australopithecus. And you had to decide which one looked more human. What you're seeing up on the top, again, is the dental arcade of a chimp an australopithecine, which is kind of an intermediate step versus modern humans. And there is a really good chart in your book that talks about the different species that were found, where they were found, the dates, and some of the important sites and what was found.